Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. I'm at the point of dating where it's like, why was I ever so emotional? Why was I so dramatic? There was nothing to be sad about. I'm 28 now and like, dating before 25 isn't even real. Go to the bar, make out and go home. That's solid advice right there. <laughs> Go to a bar, exchange fluids with complete strangers. <laughs> yeah, sure. But what exactly changed now at 28? I'm gonna go with nothing. Still sad and emotional, only a few years older. Things I would never do after learning the neuroscience behind self-love. Number one, I will never talk poorly about myself, neither out loud or in my head, even if it's just for a second. How you speak to yourself forms your identity and your identity creates your external reality and the brain doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's not. So it doesn't know that you don't mean what you say. Number two, I will never allow someone into my life who doesn't treat me the way that I deserve or desire simply because I like the person. When you accept this type of behavior from the people around you, you are accepting that how they treat you is truth to your self-worth. Even if right now you are someone that knows your worth and you think that because you know your worth, this won't happen. If you accept that behavior from others over time, this will start to shift your neural pathways from being someone who has high self-worth to someone who has low self-worth. Because you're exposing yourself to consistent behavior that speaks to low self-worth. I've never realized this so far, but apparently every single TikToker is a neuroscientist. Because so far, every single TikToker I've seen is talking about self-worth and things they deserve just because they exist. Now the question would be, why would someone who makes anywhere from 90,000 to 140,000 a year be on TikTok? Maybe because I needed to know that if I make self-deprecating jokes, my brain will treat them as jokes, obviously. But no, thank you for that. But I don't just deserve stuff because I exist. So I'm still gonna look at you funny and treat you as just any other TikToker. I feel like the reason I like don't have a boyfriend, well, <laughs> like one of them, is because I'm like the least competitive person on the planet. Like the minute something turns into a competition, I'm like out of there. Like, and this goes for like every aspect of my life. Like everything. I'm so not competitive. And I'm not really sure if this is, like, healthy or not. Like, I probably should be trying harder, but, like... No, like, don't do any of that. It's a fierce competition saying yes when you're asked on a date. You might even have to compete with yourself putting on some clothes and going out. No, like, don't do any of that. Girl, I deleted my Instagram because I'm crazy. Like, let me tell you about it. It's because low-key, like, this guy that I literally was obsessed with, like, I was obsessed with him. Like, my crush, like, all time. Like, I literally met him I met him once. Like, I'm actually insane. So, he would watch my stories and he wouldn't reply. So, I literally deleted my... <laughs> oh, my God. No, it sounds so bad out loud. But, like, I literally deleted my Instagram because it gave me so much anxiety waiting for him to, like, make a move or, like, say something. So, I just, like, can't have that. That's why now I just use my dating apps because, like... I don't know them in person. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, it just like, it's like better. I keep it like separate. And Instagram, like, I just hate it regardless. Like, I'd be on TikTok. Like, we're like, wasn't it used to be a requirement to know how to talk to graduate kindergarten? When did that change? Picture this horror movie. Some poor soul is gonna look at her and say, yeah, maybe I will take her on a date. And then the date goes great because, you know, she can carry a conversation as we've just seen. And the poor soul will decide, yeah, maybe I'll marry her. Why not? Who needs to have an interesting conversation when you come home from work when you can listen to this gem? You're not going to believe me, but by the time this video comes to an end, you and I are going to feel like family. Absolutely not. Or you can be my uncle that nobody likes. I'm not here to fix it all for you. I'm here just to give you a message. You ready? It's going to get better. And soon. Because you have found your tribe. You don't think that the universe and all its infinite wisdom can design a platform like TikTok in order for us to connect? No, I just realized I like my uncle, so I'm gonna stick with him. And as much as I would like to blame the universe for creating TikTok, I still have one functioning brain cell left and I won't. I know who created TikTok and I know why. They needed a good laugh and you never fail to deliver. Your love life is going to...
explode after this. I'm talking your exes wishing they were never born, your casual hookups turning into happily ever after, and you being recognized as the goddess or Zeus that you are. If everyone is you pushed out and people are not showing up for you the way that you want, that's because you guessed it, you're not showing up for you the way that you can be. Manifesting your SP is the easiest thing to do. People are the easiest thing to manifest. For the next seven days, you're gonna start repeating, I am captivating and chanting. You're really not. Oh, wait, what? Ah, me? Yeah, I'm not either. It took me a couple of months at the beginning to understand that SP stands for not single player, but significant person. I should maybe stop telling on myself because it doesn't make me look good. But I got it. Uh, goddesses and Zeus. How come? What happened? You don't know a single name of a goddess? And whatever happened with practice what you preach? You're still single and you're telling us that manifesting your single player is the easiest way to do. Go ahead. Manifest Manifest some rich guy from half a world away and watch him fly over to you because you are a cuckoo. At least if you had a man in your life then I would still not take you seriously but I would pretend to take you seriously. But since you don't have one, how does it make sense to say that manifesting your single player is the easiest way to do? Whoops! Looks like you f***ed around and found out and now you're dealing with the consequences of your actions. Better luck next time! Thank you, I'm sure I won't need it. Let me read what she said. When your situationship's new girl is watching your stories, but why? Aren't you all happy together? Nothing to see here. You were right about that last part. What happened was this. There was nothing good to see on TV and they already bought popcorns and all that and they needed something to watch and have a good laugh. So they started watching your stories. If you were nothing than a situationship, there's nothing to really be bitter about. You know, just saying. Are you ready to stop playing dumb yet? You don't have to do anything you don't want to do, ever. This is a video game. Hello, hi, you put me here. You put me here to tell you that this is a video game and you can literally do whatever you want all day, every single day. I am retired, I am 26. The only reason that you think that you have to do things that you don't want to do is because somebody told you that at some point and you accepted it. You place someone into your experience or multiple people into your experience to tell you that you had to do things you don't want to do and that life is supposed to suck and be hard. And you claimed those beliefs. You accepted them. You accepted it and you were like, all right, I'm going to operate out of this program for the rest of my journey. You can stop. You can literally just stop running that program at any point and just do whatever you want. But the thing is, you're not going to because you like what you're doing. You like the struggle. That's why you place those people in your experience to tell you that so that you could operate from that system because you wanted to have that experience. Nothing is ever a problem, but you tell yourself that it is. Because sometimes it is, and also because I'm a man, I can't afford to retire at 26, whatever that means. It may as well be a video game and I'm the main character in my own video game. I still have to get out of bed every morning even though I don't feel like it. Go ahead, go outside and do quest. I finish this quest, I can afford to buy groceries. I finish that quest, I can afford to go out. I finish some other quest, I can afford to take care of my family. It's great that you don't have to do any quest and you're retired at 26, even though I was kind of hoping you're gonna tell us how that works but regardless if it's a video game or real world some of us do need to go outside and face those problems life and by that i mean real life will throw challenges your way either you like it or not and the more you believe you can ignore those challenges and they'll go away the harder it will be for you to deal with those challenges because no they're not just gonna go away i understand why girls get sugar days now honestly same i want one Send me your applications because I don't want to do this working thing anymore. I don't, I don't want to be a part of the workforce. Oh, it's hard, isn't it? Well, that's too bad. Yeah, now go get dressed and get ready. Car leaves at 7. You don't even know how that works. They don't send you their applications. You send yours to them and they're gonna find you wanting. You want to sign my petition real quick? I'm trying to ban therapy. That's Jack cool. Daniels exists for a reason, right? <laughs> Guys, can I interest you in a petition? We're trying to make drunk driving legal. No, I'm a cop. Yeah, let me sign the first one and I'll let you deal with a cop. What were the chances, right? Out of all the people, you ran into that one. Anyway, this is gonna be the end of the video. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.